stuff is not being happening because the body is kind of scared and wants to retreat and not um, work hard. So breath is important. So right away, we're going to start to engage this because we're not just hanging out on the floor. <laughs> You're going to bend your knees just a little bit and have your feet flexed. So heels are going to be digging into the ground. You're going to stick your butt out a little bit and we're going to drop the ribs a little bit. Nothing much has changed yet. And then start to pull with your shoulders into the ground and see if you can lift your pelvis just the tiniest bit up. And it is going to be a tiny bit. I don't go high. I mean, don't go high, period. But even don't go as high as you think you can go. Very importantly, you're going to keep your knees slightly bent and you're going to pull with your shoulders down into the ground. And here we go. This should be already quite taxing on the whole system. And we're breathing and we keep flexing the feet and keeping check in the knees. We're not straightening them all the way. They're, the legs are going to be really, really, really long. And then start to pull also your wrists down into the ground and pull the shoulder blades into the ground. And then allow for all of your ribs to soften. And then slowly let that release. Everything. Let the legs turn out. Let the palms even face up toward the ceiling. And just take a moment <laughs> and just feel that. So we're right away starting with something very intense. Um, and it's okay. I, I really, I'm, I'm getting more and more like encouraging people. It's okay to feel the intensity. It's like, yeah, it sucks probably to some degree, right? And it's okay. And we're, we're, we're not freaking out by it. We'll do this again. So we're going to bend the knees a little bit. The wider the legs, it's a little more available than to you know, a little, little easier Palms face the ground. You're going to pull the heels into the earth. Sit bones heavy, kidneys heavy. Pull the shoulders. And then a tiny lift. Your pants might still be touching the ground here. That's totally fine. And we don't want the ribs to lift your pelvis up, right? We want those ribs to be super duper heavy and barely lifting. And we're pulling and we're pulling and we're pulling. That's the only job you have right now, pulling with your heels, pulling with your whole arm, your shoulders, maybe even all of your fingers, your wrist, and your breathing. And the more we can focus on the breath and even focusing on the intensity of maybe emotion, saying, oh my God, this is so hard. It's okay. And then let it release. And already feel the lengthening that's happening in the whole system. Maybe there's more of a touching of the ribs on the ground. Maybe you can take that pillow away from underneath your head and you feel more connected to the earth. That's, you know, you could be done here, literally. Don't be, but literally. So we're going to add on. So you can keep doing this. If this was maxing you out today, let's just do this. If you want to add a little bit on, we'll lift again into that little... Tiny long legged bridge, and we're going to start to move the pelvis side to side. I'm still pulling firmly with my heels and my shoulders, and I'm doing these tiny little arcs with my pelvis. Left hip goes down as I rotate my pelvis to the left. I'm keeping my kidneys heavy, and then I'm pulling with my arms and my shoulders and lift my pelvis and then I'm swaying the pelvis a little bit to the right and dip the right hip down, not fully. And you're gonna keep going side to side. My feet pivot, my legs rotate together with the pelvis and you're gonna breathe into the low belly, into the low back and keep going side to side. It's going to turn toasty really quickly. Keep a check for your knees. Don't hyperextend your knees, please. And then let's go one more time to the right, or you've already taken your break. It's all good. And then let everything release. Take another moment. OK. 
catch the breath even more. Allow for the system to, because the heart rate's going up here probably, let it release. And then we're going to do one more add on if you want, right? If you want. You can, yeah, I'll give you two options actually. You could come up and go right away into a reverse plank or reverse table. If your arms are good, right? If your shoulders are good, you can do this here. Elbows rotate back, shoulders squeeze together. And you're gonna do, you can do your rotational long-legged plank here. That's one option. Or I'll give you another option, which is not necessarily easier at all. Stay down with your shoulders by your side, walk your feet a little closer together and see if you can lift up one leg. Don't think it has to be a very high lift. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be. I mean, maybe it is, right? Maybe that leg that floats up lifts really high, but what we're really looking into and looking at is how connected can I stay in my pull? How much can I still pull my arms, my shoulders, and my stationary leg on the floor heel into the earth. And you might really be feeling your triceps here if you're doing this lying on the floor. I certainly can feel them. Find your breath, find the tiniest lift, whatever, right? Maybe you're still doing your little side to side rotation here. It's all good. And let's lower down 